So today I'm trying a pancake recipe that has no, well, eggs, never mind, there's no leavening agent. Baking powder, baking soda, three medium <laughs> eggs. I don't have medium eggs. Pinch, I don't know. Make it eighth of a teaspoon. Tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm just gonna mix all of that. So there's just eggs, flour, milk, sugar, and salt. So there's no vanilla. Oh, I made a mess with these eggs. And no butter. 150 milliliters of milk. And so there's no specifics about like how hot the oil, the oil in the pan should be, but you know it's a pancake, so we kind of use our instincts here. And then it says six tablespoons of oil. That is a lot. I just put in the maybe one tablespoon. Let's see. A ladle. Okay. A ladle that holds about two thirds cup of of dough or batter. So when you say dough, I'm thinking it's um, supposed to be super thick, like bread dough. Gotta just use our best judgment here. I made it a little thicker so that it would be more of a dough consistency. I didn't heat this oil up hot enough. All right. Let's get the oil hotter. So the first one's always practice anyway. Okay, so I switched pans. The other one is kind of frying. I don't know what it's doing, to be honest. So let's put some oil back in this one. At least it's like making a sound. When I put it in there, it wasn't hot enough. And now it's just gonna be full of oil. I put a little less oil this time. We're learning. Yeah, it probably would have been better if I would have watched a video or something and figured out before I just decided to tackle it. When I don't know what it's supposed to look or sound or smell or... So, the other one might be ready. Well, I super burnt the first one. So let's hope this one comes out better. Because that one's burnt. I don't think this is right. It is so thick and greasy. But let me try something a little different here. Okay, yeah, there's like so much oil. I think I just went too much. So let's just leave what's in there. Okay, I flipped the second one. So these look more like crepes than I don't know the other ones. The other ones are like I don't know, really thick. Okay, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to taste like. I'm gonna try the, the really thick one first. I'm not gonna put anything on it yet. I just wanna see if it's cooked, which it is. It's very thick. It has no flavor. It just tastes like oil. I'm not gonna eat the burnt one. Mm -hmm. Taste the little thin one. Yeah, it's like it's pretty flavorless. Maybe if I had apples to fry on it, but I don't. 
have Nutella, so, you know, Nutella makes everything better. Let's try that. Mm. It's just so thick. I don't know. This one has like a crispy edge, so let's try that. No, yeah, there's like no flavor at all. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure I did something wrong. So. I'm gonna find out what that is. Oh, am I making a Dutch baby? I've never made one before, but after doing a quick Google search on German pancakes, Dutch baby showed up. And I was like, oh, I know what that's supposed to look like. It's supposed to puff up. It's supposed to be this like, like a popover, like a giant popover. So now that I know what I'm supposed to do, I think I got this. I didn't think about that, but yeah. So here's my batter. Uh, slightly browned butter. So we're ready to add, add our batter. This seems really runny, but you know, we'll see. So this is gonna go right back in the oven for 16 minutes. It's my very first Dutch baby. It's kind of wet. I wonder if I should cook it longer. So I made this compote, which is just uh, some berries and some lemon zest and some water. And then you just reduce it down into syrup. It's super easy. It doesn't feel um, undercooked. I just said the sides should be golden brown. Okay, so I put the compote. And then I'm gonna put a little garnish. Um, I don't know how to serve this or how to eat this. Oh, it's hot. So I guess I'm just gonna cut like a slice. It looks amazing. Um, where is my thingy? Inside. And we'll see how that goes. Oh my god. Oh wow. Ooh, hot. That tastes a whole world different than the other thing I just made. And it is so good. This is amazing. I would totally eat this again. Unfortunately, um, I'm in the process of editing and uh, I checked in with my friend, you know, to talk about the pancakes, and it turns out I was wrong, and it's supposed to look like this. 